Okay, uh, let's see, so as usual, when I, um, step out of these runs, you know, quit for the night, and I spend all my money, all that stuff is gone. I get to keep the Magnum, but I, I lost the, uh, tower shield that I bought and stuff like that. <sighs> which is dumb. But oh well. Anyway, tonight seems to be, Wander, have you played X Knight? So we're going to be, uh, probably rapid-firing a number of these. Uh, let's see, Wander, have you ever played Caves of Cud? Yes, I played Caves of Cud, I think, within the first, like, couple months of starting my channel. Um, and I stopped. I stopped the, uh, stopped playing Caves of Cud because, at the time, it would record one video file per frame. Uh, so I effectively filled my hard drive with a bunch of, um, what is it, 30th of a second, uh, videos. And I was more or less just like, well, this is, this is barely even a, like, functional. I'm just going to, oh, right, doggy. I totally forgot there was a dog in there. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I threw that away because it was just like, well, I can't, I simply can't record this. It's not gonna work. Uh, so I, I stopped. And also, like, old school rogue, rogues like, eh, roguelikes like that are awesome. I love them. They make really bad YouTube and Twitch footage, unfortunately. Like, if I could play, like, a, a super nice-looking version of, uh, Tales of Majael, Cogmind, and, um, Tales of Majael, Cogmind, and a couple other things. Give me a second. It's not letting me scroll up and down here. Maybe it never did. Ooh, that's a good, that's a really good start. Uh... For evasion. But yeah, if I could play like an ultra pretty version of both of those, I'd be really happy because, like, they were fantastic games. I just, uh, you know, never got the. I never got the opportunity to cover them, and, uh, unfortunately, audiences are fickle beasts, so whenever I, like, try and cover stuff like that, it's usually just like, what's this game? It looks dumb, and then everybody leaves. It makes me sad. Uh, that's why games like Enter the Gungeon tend to be a little bit more popular because, yeah, they don't have as good of mechanics. Uh, like, roguelike-wise, and death and whatever, but they do have the, uh, visual appeal that... I'm not going to hit this guy, am I? I guess I could whip out the dangerous shotgun instead and go from there. Uh, let's see, so what's the build tonight? Uh, Desperado. Evasion Desperado, if I can do it. Hopefully I can also get, uh, the shield again, but honestly the shield, uh, isn't quite as valuable as you'd think it would be. It's amazing. Like, it's an amazingly useful thing for getting through the levels unscathed. Uh, but it kind of drops off when it comes to fighting bosses. It'd be lovely if it, if it, uh, recharged or something. Oh, that would rack shot. But, uh, reliant, reliance on that is rough. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so this is, this is the, uh, Desperado run. Because we'll see how much damage we do. Because I do a lot. I should be able to do a lot. Okay, so crit's not that good. 6% attack speed could be really good. Movement speed's not great. Reload speed, the gold drop is nice, but I don't know if I need it. What's the max health? 16 max health. Let's go, I can only fit in a couple. Let's get the max health. And I'm not gonna be able to afford the attack speed even if I wanted to. Do I go for the crit, even if it's bad? Or do we save the space for the next floor? Let's save the space for the next floor, because honestly, I'd rather save the food buff space than squander it. At least here. But yeah, I'd actually, like, I'd love to play uh, Caves of Cud, and it might actually be one of those where someday I just sit down and play it anyway. Uh, regardless of, like, you know numbers or caring about viewership or anything like that. Um, you know, do like a day where I just play a bunch of like very traditionalist roguelikes. Like that might not actually be a bad idea. It's just time. Because the problem is I have, so for every like old game that I'd like to go back to that was amazing, there's five more that are coming out in the next like couple months that also look amazing. Uh, so like specifically for tonight, um, I gotta remember to dash to reload. I gotta dash constantly. Um, but like tonight specifically, I've got in celebration of violence, which came out more or less I think the same day as this game. 
Um, and I passed on it because, actually, of this game. I was originally going to play Celebration of Violence, but then I got busy. Uh, I took that hit uh, to avoid another arrow. That was not worth... But that's a, that, that's fine. Doesn't matter. I was one of the gargoyle thingies. Yeah, occasionally the gargoyles will attack you. Uh, it's uncommon. They're kind of tough, but not very dangerous. It's, I think, mostly a surprise. Uh, but yeah, so I was going to play Celebration of Violence, and then it turned out that I didn't have the time at the time. Uh, so Celebration of Violence, Soul Blight... What was it? Rack? Exoverse? And, uh... Children of Morta. I have too many games that are coming out, and it's a problem. Uh, like, it's a legitimate, like, issue. Um, how many, like, new cool games are coming out that I feel compelled to play? I actually got a tweet from the, uh, one of the developers of, uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse. They were doing... They were doing research on games, I guess, and I, I actually had this, like, big long rant about, uh, about this on Treasure Adventure World, but effectively I've gotten comments and complaints uh, from people talking about how they can't escape my channel uh, when they're looking for new games. Because they'll look for, they'll look for, like, you know, Dungreed. Hey, look who's got, like, ten videos on it. They'll look for, uh... Slay the Spire, they'll look for Crossing Souls, they'll look for, you know, just any any game that's come out with the, within the past year that, like, you know, isn't just, like, YouTube, YouTuber bait or, like, particularly super popular from anybody else, there's a high chance that I will have covered it. And so I think that's both, like, a really cool and a really problematic thing, because obviously if somebody doesn't like the content that I put out, that they're, then they're, I mean, they're probably fine, they can easily just skip my videos, but... I'm going to be haunting their feeds, uh, whether they like it or not. And there's the tower shield. Uh, I can't afford it. Eh, let's take this. This looks ridiculous. What? Oh, no. Uh, okay, good. Kind of worried about that for a second. Let's see. I wonder where's D&D &D today. People are busy. Sucks. Can't do much about it. Okay, let's go up to food. See, out of curiosity, do you have a huge backlog, or do you just play a million games a day? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a bit of both, honestly. I I have a huge, huge backlog, uh, but I do spend a lot of time every day playing games for hours hours on end. That crit rate just isn't isn't doing it for me. I, it's probably best that we just keep uh, bypassing. As long as we're staying above zero satiety, it'd be better. It'd be better to, uh, just skip. I think there might have been some healing that I could go back for, but I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I just, I love games. They're fun. And, I mean, my YouTubing career more or less saved me from a really crappy dead-end job. Or, well, no. I had already been, um, let go of said dead-end job. Oops. Uh, so, pretty much... It saved me from unemployment. Which, like... The alternative is generally... The al the alternative to not doing this much is... I don't know, kind of sitting around on my butt, which is what I was doing pretty much all of today. I had a free day! My computer was locked up rendering. I could have done anything, and I decided I was just going to potato. Uh, so I don't really mind playing, like, huge amounts of games. It's fun. There's also so many good games. Like, that's kind of what I was... I, I'm trying to get at here. It's like... My channel slows down a little bit when there's nothing good out. Uh, you know, I'll start, like, looking for Subnautica or... Uh, I'll start looking... Uh, Subnautica, I'll look for... You know, Astroneer. Games that have gotten updates. Uh, that, you know, I covered once upon a time. And really enjoyed. And this year, for whatever reason, has been particularly full of, like, new, exciting games. And maybe part of it is because... No, I have no idea. Because, like, there have been huge gaps in, like, the industry. You know, we've got... Uh, this year's had, like, a billion, like, sequels and, like, follow-up games. You know, Monster Hunter World. Not really a sequel to anything, but, you know, kind of follows up. We've had, uh... 
We've had, uh, well, we have Nino Kuni too. I was hoping to jump and kill him before. I hate those dogs. They're really hard to avoid as a ranger type character. Works better. Oh, when you have a melee attack, I guess I could just use the shotgun, but whatever. Um, let's see, so where's the evasion? Ugh, it's bad. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I'd like to maybe get some attack speed. Uh, I'd probably rather have raw damage, though, considering the reload speed is kind of rough on this. Hey, thanks for the resub, person. You know, I'd love an accessory that gives me homing bullets. It makes stuff like the Danger Shotgun ri ridiculously powerful. Or anything with Split Shot. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'd love that. Um, but yeah, so for whatever reason, like, 2018 uh, has just been jam-packed with, like, really good games coming out. And I don't see that stopping. I, it, it could change by the time we hit summer. Uh, but unfortunately, I've been, like trying to, like, scramble to stay on top of everything. And it has not been working. <laughs> oh, I have too many games. And, uh... I have too many games to cover. And they're all good. I mean, it would help if I probably stopped playing so many roguelikes. Ow. That's my fault. Because roguelikes kind of just sit on my channel for ages. But that's okay. But yeah, so that's 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 why I play so many games, and that's why my schedule is busy, and my life is just an infinite torrent of new new videos. I wonder. I would love to see like market research on some of these things, uh, as far as like good games coming out and whatever, because like this this game was very very clearly inspired by. Uh, well, the Uzi is almost good, but it doesn't count as a revolver for this character. Let's see, anyone know what the dangerous shotgun does? Poison! Poison pellets! It's actually, like, really good. How did I take damage? I have no idea. It's really good, uh, just not on this character. And now that I think about it, I'm kind of glad... I mean, actually, it's probably even better than the revolver, potentially, for this character. It just... I want to get used to using the revolver. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. I can just use my jumps to break the boxes. What I'd really like to do is actually get the uh, auto-reloader girl. So I could just alternate between two guns. Just go from there. I could go with the man... Mangosh. The Mangosh? Hmm. It would boost my base damage by a little bit and give me an extra 10 power. That's only 10% damage, though. It's probably not worth it compared to the defense and block of the tower shield. It torch would be worth it. Other things, not so much, though. So. Okay. Yeah, so the max health isn't worth it. The attack speed isn't great. I'll probably just keep going. Let's go grab the health instead of just miss. Just a reminder, two guns on the boss is very bad. You know, you're correct. You're totally correct on that. What's, uh... Eh, it's, nope. What am I doing? I'll just put on the spear. I don't actually use the spear that much, but still. So the shield is just percent chance to negate damage. Yeah, it's like an 8% chance to negate damage and reduces your... the damage you take by, like, approximately 20. It's, uh, I don't actually know what the, uh, the math is on defense, because it cuts your damage by, like, a certain amount, but it doesn't cut it by, like, 100 defense does not cut the damage by 100%. It doesn't work that way. So I'm kind of curious... I'm kind of curious how the, uh, how defense is supposed to work. Because evasion is just a flat amount. If you have a, if you have a hundred percent, 
uh, evasion, you will block, or you will avoid 100% of enemy attacks. <sighs> I was trying to back out of range of it, but I couldn't quite tell where it was going to fly. Oh well. But yeah, so... Not sure how uh, how defense is going to work with this. Oh, the dogs are still alive. I'm really I'm really bad at spotting the dogs because they hide behind your character model and they blend in really well with the shield. I know I'm not supposed to be reloading this gun, but I do it anyway. I don't know. I think I might... I'll revisit the Gunslinger idea, I think, after this run. Hopefully we can find either the Shield Chick or something equally worthwhile. I think I might get the Shield of Power... Uh, the Shield Generator and the Charm of Power. Pretty pricey, but we've got... We've got stuff to make it work. Oh, can't, can't get rid of the Dangerous Shotgun. I forgot, somebody gave it to me. But yeah, I, I think I prefer to have the Dangerous Shotgun and a character with a... Uh, with the stats for it, as opposed to uh, a revolver. Let's see, how's Children of Morta coming along? Any new updates? I actually have no idea, so we'll have to find that out tonight. It should be coming out on Steam soon, so that's kind of why I wanted to cover it. I know some other YouTubers have been covering it, so that's... That's kind of my desire. See, do you play a lot of FPS games? The re reloading reflex, reflex is strong. I play a lot of, um... Ugh, oh, god damn. These, um... Food buffs are atrocious. Why are they so bad this time around? I, might be part of the reason why, like, my, uh... My confidence in this run is kind of on the, the lower side of things. This is... Part of the reason why I was so uh, committed to the idea of just pumping pure power on a character. I mean, admittedly, my power is currently at 110, so that's not so bad. Um, but yeah, I play a lot of... Uh, I play a lot of games with kind of like a, a strong survival element to it. You know, uh, what's a good example? Metro 2033, for example. Uh, you do not want to be out of bullets uh, in, in your clip. Uh, during an attack in that game. Is 30 the highest level in this game? It is and it isn't. Um, so 30, 30 is the highest level that you could... Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep the dangerous shotgun now that I think about it. We'll save up for a blessing. Go from here. Um, so level 30 is the maximum level, but if you know how to like use sheet engine and stuff like that... Uh, 30 is nowhere close to the maximum level. Uh, you cap out at 100. Or technically you could get 100 uh, stat points. It doesn't scale past that point. You might be able to get it to scale past that point, but uh, it might not work so hot. I'll mess around with it. Like, I'm actually kind of curious about what kind of... Uh, what? Oh, I get hit by the ice thing again, just as it was spawning. Like, once I'm done with this series, I'll probably mess around with, like, hacking my stats up in different ways. Kind of coming up with my own, quote-unquote, RPG system or something to get it. Okay. Let's see. Still no good food buffs. I'm a little injured for going into a, uh... I'm a little injured if I'm going into a boss fight. Well, if we die, we die. I kind of don't like this character to begin with anyway. I could go for the 37 heal, but that would cost me 30 food space. That's rough. Like, I'd almost rather just try and get some max health. Let's get the max health. Which doesn't raise your max health unless you're at max health. Eh, whatever, that might have been a bit of a waste. Oh well. I don't really care. Uh, you know what? The other thing is, let's go back here just for a second.
Let's sell the Buoyan and the police shield. Probably should have actually uh, attributed the police shield now that I think about it. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll probably just bring the dangerous shotgun with me. Uh, if and when I die. She's not berserk buttoned right now. Ugh. That was awful. All of this was awful. Oh, come on! Okay. Damn it. Yeah, dropping down is really rough in this game. Uh, if that sword, if that sword, like, does the strike across, you pretty much don't want to be reloading. I'm just going to grab the dangerous shotgun and we'll go from here. The idea of the magnum is fine, but I don't like it enough as a weapon to really justify using it. So let's, uh, let's not do that character. <laughs> 